Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it is Friday, the is it the fifth of June, um, and we are at the very end of the Book of Philippians. Just the last couple of verses, uh, a few verses, verses twenty-one to twenty-three, and uh, we're going to look at these verses. I'll try to mine a little nugget out of it, and we'll be done with the Book of Philippians. And I think. I mentioned this yesterday, but just to reiterate, uh, I really enjoy doing this and have appreciated, you know, the feedback that I've gotten from so many of you. And I am going to continue doing this, but I just need to figure out a format to do it in that works uh, on my end. So um, probably going to take a week or two break to figure that out. And I'll let you know. Um, if you're following, if you're, if you're listening to this on, um, iTunes podcast or YouTube or SoundCloud, whatever it, 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 you know, we'll make sure that we put the word out that we're resuming this and I'm open to your suggestions as to where to go next. You know, I thought about the book of Ephesians just to cover Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, but you know, I'm willing to go anywhere, willing to just continue to wade through Paul's letters or through a gospel or book of Acts or into the Old Testament or even some topics, but I want to keep this daily thing a devotional and not make it a a podcast or a Bible study or something like that. Let's, you know, leave that for other forums. So without any more about that, um, let's dive into Philippians 4, verse 21 to 23, the very end. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brothers who are with me send you greetings. All the saints send you greetings, especially those who belong to Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Well, here we are at the very end of the book of Philippians, and Paul is uh, offering his final goodbye. I think he's a typical preacher in a sense that he has said, you know, finally a few times now but this is really the final finally and i I love the way he ends i I just love the nuanced profound depth of what he says here at the end and there's two key things i think that i want to point out number one when he says all the saints greet you but especially those who are of caesar's household man that just that just rips my heart wide open with joy to think about what he's saying, he's saying, here I am under house arrest or in jail, but yet people who are in Caesar's household, and I believe that the, that the man who was the emperor of Rome at this time, if I'm correct, is, was a really cruel figure. And to think that there are people that are within his household, whether they were literally his family members or whether they were just guards or servants or whatever within the, within the household, we don't know. We can't tell, but it doesn't really matter. What it says to me is that if you came within a certain proximity, like let's just imagine social distancing, if you got within 10 feet of Paul, you were going to hear the gospel. (laughs) And if you dared to stop, you were going to hear the whole gospel and you're going to hear his whole testimony. And it was that the spirit of God would fall upon those meetings so that wherever Paul went, he left behind a trail of new believers. This is why this man is such a profound church planter. He, I don't think he was a pastor. I don't think that he was very good at staying in place and, and discipling uh, in the way that maybe some others, I think he was apostolic as a church planter and an evangelist who just, I'm going to share the gospel. I'm going to fan into flames the, the gifts that are within you and the, and the church is going to rise up in this. There's so much more I, I want to say about this, but, um, uh, I want to leave it here so that I can talk about the other nugget that I see in this, which is the very, very last words that Paul writes, he says, the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen. Now, my view is, is that Paul didn't write this at the very end just to have a salutation or a, a, some sort of, you know, fill up some space at the end of his letter to make sure it looks good on the page. 
this to Paul is the most important thing that he could say to believers, that your life, brother, your life, sister, begins and ends with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I'm going to begin and I'm going to end every letter I write with grace so that you would never move beyond considering grace, relying on grace, pleading for grace, uh, you know, knowing the fact that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So humbling yourself and just saying, Lord, please, more grace um, to wrestle with grace, uh, to be a grace magnet that people would be drawn to you because of the grace that exudes from your life because of what you've received from Jesus. Remember, grace is getting more than you deserve. Grace is like giving a bad tip. Uh, Excuse me. It's like giving a really good tip for bad service, you know, at a restaurant. That's one of the images I always keep in my, uh, my mind. Imagine somebody treats me really poorly and I treat them kindly. That is giving them more than they deserve. And imagine that in the cosmic perspective. I offend God's perfection by my sin, by my disobedience, by my rebellion. And what does he do for me? He dies for me. He grants me resurrection power. He pours his grace out on me. He gives me so much more than I deserve. And I love the fact that Paul ends this this letter, this beautiful, joy-filled encouragement with this blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. What a, what a fitting way uh, to end and to put a stamp on it of a, that, that Aramaic word of agreement, amen. And so this is my amen to the book of Philippians and to this little section of uh, time that we've spent together devotionally. Uh, again, I'm going to take a little break. If you're, if you're one of those people that are tracking with me like day by day, you're, you're right here with me, then, um, you know, you take a little break with me. You, you look into some other devotional resources and we'll be back. If you're one of those people who tracks behind, you know, a couple weeks and you just listen here and there when you have the opportunity, well, hopefully by the time you get to the end of this or you're hearing this, I'll be, I'll be back up with some, some more stuff. So uh, I love you all, and I thank you for your faithfulness, and I pray that the, I'm going to just pray over you exactly according to these words. So we, we ask, Lord, that the, your grace, that your grace would be poured out on my brothers and sisters. It would be with each and every one of my brothers and sisters and all who listen. And, Lord, we just say, come. Be with us, guide us, lead us, have your way with us. We don't deserve all you've done for us, but we are so thankful for your grace. We love you, Jesus. Amen and Maranatha.